we're looking at the uh, alert player dashboard. We've started at the status page. This is just showing a real-time log of the different events that are happening. We're going to go in and we're going to configure this emergency alert uh, player. Right now, it's got the location geocode for the uh, entire Yukon. I've enabled the alert. We're going to use the English as the primary language, followed by uh, French as the second language. The alerts are going to have to play at least once. Uh, I have a setup uh, so that it's going to play these unlimited. And then it's going to play those alerts every 30 minutes until there's a, uh, a cancel code that's sent from Pelmrex. On uh, non-broadcast intrusive messages, you can set to play moderately severe alerts, such as weather alerts, heavy fog in the morning, for example. Uh, you could also truncate those uh, long messages uh, so that it'll just say heavy fog in the morning. There's an advanced uh, settings tab in here. Uh, this one should be enabled. Uh, you want to purge the alerts after 90 days so that it doesn't fill up your uh, drive. We've already included the uh, NAD uh, streams that it's monitoring. Now we're going to inject a test alert and we'll try a embedded audio test. And this is not going out on the air. And we're going to inject the test alert. You'll notice that it's going to play it in 18 seconds. You can click on here and this will just show you the uh, formatted message. The message is now playing. This is a test only of Pelmerex Communication Inc.'s National Alert Aggregation and Dissemination System and is not intended for distribution to the public. No action is required. This is a test only. And this the message is uh, going to uh, play uh, with the attention tones. Dissemination system and is not intended for distribution to the public. No action is required. This is a test only. You can see the levels happening at the top, and now it's uh, resumed back to uh, normal operation. You could also go in and take a look. Uh, there's other tests, uh, including the uh, audio and image tests, uh, for those of you that are using this for running your cable TV head end. If we go back to the status page, we can also uh, go for the log level uh, and set it to debug. This is showing all of the alerts that it's receiving in the background. So if you don't see any red error messages, then everything's all good here. All the purple and magenta um, uh, items are all to do with emergency alerting. So that was the alert that we just uh, issued. For setting up your machine, there, it's already been pre-configured. You may want to uh, set up uh, something to en enable a test signal. And the way that you would uh, do that is you would enable it, save it, and then restart the player. This will just give you a, a test signal uh, that you can uh, hook up your equipment and test everything. And it's resumed normal operation without that uh, test signal going. Inside uh, the admin tab, this is how you can check for your current updates. I've already done the updates on here, and this is uh, the most current version as of this date. You could also export your settings file. That way, if you ever had to uh, migrate this to another machine, you could just uh, pop this in without having to redo all the settings. At the emergency alert player dashboard, 
This is a status page. This is showing all of the events that are happening in real time through this log. Uh, no re red error messages is a good sign. We're going to go into the alert tab. You'll notice that it's already been enabled. I've got a geocode, and this is right now set up for the entire Yukon. But to find a regional code for your area, you go to support.openbroadcaster.pro, go to the uh, Getting Started page, and Alert Player. And there's a link here for locating geocodes. So right now, uh, this is showing uh, the geocode, uh, the SGC code for Tagish. You could uh, use this uh, menu. You can zoom out. You could go to other parts of uh, Canada. And then you can find the different geocodes for your area. So this uh, geocode that I've just put in here is going to receive any alerts that are uh, tagged for Tagish Yukon territory and play them. The primary language is set for English and the secondary language is set for French. You could change these uh, depending on which region in Canada you're at.